Hey everyone, it's Stephanie from Purple Nuna Podcast, and Savannah and I are, are trying something new. Um, as you can probably hear, um, it's just me in this audio, and Savannah and I want to start doing these little delves, delves, dives into movies. Um, little separations of it. So it's like, and you know what it is? You know, like when you watch a movie or like something's been implanted and you're like, oh my God, I got to watch that scene again. Maybe I'm one of the only people that feel that way, but I made the, the, the bad decision or even beloved decision. It depends on who you ask, um, to listen to the soundtracks to one of my favorite films of all time. Um, the woman next door and I'm, I'm listening to the soundtrack. Gorgeous score, by the way. Um, and it's kind of, it's, it's hitting at me scenes from the movie and, and that craving to watch it again, um, overtakes me. And you know, like I have things to do. I live my life. Um, so I can't always sit and watch the whole movie, but sometimes I'll just go to some of my favorite scenes and I'll just, and I'll tell you what, I was paying like $12 a month to have a monthly fix because Criterion Collection was the only place showing this movie, um, that I had direct access to. And that was before um, my my partner in crime, Savannah, bought me the DVD because um, it was very difficult to get the DVD. Um, but nonetheless, um, I have a direct beeline connection to it, but not always the time to. And it's it's one of those things where once a month, you know, if I play that theme, things things start happening, and and I just I need to watch a scene from this film. Um, so if you don't know, it's a film. Um, called The Woman Next Door. Um, it is a, what I think is a forgotten um, Truffaut film. And maybe because it was intently forgotten, maybe it wanted to be forgotten. But when people think Truffaut, this is probably the last thing that they'll think of. Um, it was a, a, a film that starred, uh, a, and I'm sure it was a controversial f- film at the time, because um, everything the French were doing at that time was controversial, um, 70s. Um, but it stars today a controversial actor, um, Gerard Depardieu, um, and a, a gorgeous French actress named Fanny Ardent. And they have Ardent, Ardent, I'm not French. Um, and they just have this chaotic, fiery, intense passion in this film. And I know that that's how most romance film goes but I I don't like the romance films that go well I like the romance films that show the worst side of human connection um not necessarily abusive although this this film does have a lot of abusive relationship tendencies but just the craziness the the things where it's like what's what's rattling in your head to make you think that this is appropriate for your partner um And maybe that's more a reflection on me. I hope it's not. I just, it's one of those categories. Um, I've, I've said it before and I'll say it again. I, I love French romance films starring psychotic couples. I love it. I think it's filled with whimsy and it, it just, it shows it. It's kind of like, um, if anyone's read an Albert Camus book where it's like, the absurdity of it all. That's what I like in film, and that's what I like seeing in a romance film. I don't like to experience that in real life. Let me be clear. <laughs> I like to experience it through a movie, not in real life. I've, I'm have i good on that term. But I was just sitting here and... Sitting here. I'm not really Southern. I just... It's funny. My grandma will be like, he's speaking a Southern accent. And I'm like... Eh. I don't, but I, I guess I do sometimes. I think I, I, I do a little twang, but that's besides the point. Um, so I, I'm watching what's known as the parking garage scene from The Woman Next Door. Once again, Francois Truffaut, 1981. So I think this is uh, end of his career type stuff. And I'm just playing it through. And it is a scene where Gerard Depardieu and Fanny Ardant are... They, they, they re-see each other and, and all the emotions come back, but they've, they've settled into their own lives and dealt with their own things. And they, they try to have, try, try as they will, have a civilized conversation in the parking lot while they're doing grocery shopping. And it's a really weird, unique conversation because it starts off normal um, where it's like, oh yeah, like, what a crazy relationship we had back in the day, you know, but we're over it now. 
let's be friends and they're and you know they're, they're like oh, yeah because they think that they can do that but the reality is that they can't they're not built that way but there's a line here and i'm i'm literally paused on it right now um that uh depardo says and it says i regret hurting you as much as i regret being hurt by you what like what it, what does he think is gonna happen in that scene you think she's gonna just walk away and be like okay not not this scene with not this insane woman no but the the i regret just in a casual conference he's holding groceries in his hands and he says i regret hurting you as much as i regret being hurt by you how's that supposed how how are you gonna feel how are you gonna process that in a moment you imagine someone saying that to you at a target parking lot how are you going to have that when you're holding your your you're holding five items <laughs> equivalented to two hundred dollars in today's time um and and you know i i can't imagine you know holding my gluten-free bread at, in a target parking lot and someone says i regret hurting you as much as i regret being hurt by you and then it it's just it's said so subtly and and fanny ardant's like <laughs> okay but it's just so crazy um, and then they start talking about dinner plans and, you know, he's, he's being gentlemanly and chiv chiv chivalry, chiv <laughs> chivalry is the word I'm trying to say. Um, and he's, he's like, oh yeah, I'll help you to your car and stuff like that. And then they, they just go off into like this weird side tangent where it's like, uh, he says, uh, a whole, I couldn't say a whole day without saying your name at one point. You probably don't remember. It, it's just, it's mind games. And I, I like the mind games of this. And he, you know, just friends, caresses her face. She kisses his hands, but they're just friends. They can just be friends, right? She, he's got a pregnant wife at home and now I'm watching them smooch, but they can still just be friends, right? God, I love this movie. And I really hope that more people <laughs> listening to this rant give this movie a chance even if it's not the most groundbreaking Truffaut film ever made it's just interesting it's just a nice not a nice look but you know it's just an interesting look in this relationship and it's it's unique it's different in my opinion and I I can't recommend it more of just even if you're not a romance person because it's just different i have a feeling many people will watch this and be like eh, sf is a, is a french romance film what do you what do you expect but for me this one just it just hits differently you know <laughs>